It's your girl, Hippie Chick, and I'm here to do a video all about this new moon in Scorpio. I'm going to give you a manifestation ritual trick at the end, and I'm going to give you some general info right now. So without further ado, uh, let's hop into it. If you've never been to my channel before, please like, share, and subscribe down below. Comment that you did subscribe, and I'm doing a giveaway, and a random comment is going to be chosen for a free reading. I do tarot, you guys. And then for my existing subscribers, you guys can still comment, comment your favorite emo favorite emoji down below, and I will give you a coupon code to my Etsy shop. So I'm going to be doing more giveaways as we move forward so we can all interact more and be a part of this hippie fam. So anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for all of your continued love and support. And let's get into it. So Scorpio, so the new moon is going to be happening Thursday, November 4th at 1.49 p.m. That's going to be Pacific Standard Time. I'm a California baby, so um, adjust it for your time zone, but that's when it's occurring. It's going to be in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is ruled by the planet Pluto, and this rules destruction and transformation. Confirmation from spirit. <laughs> Um, so this is going to be an incredibly transformative new moon if you want to take advantage of it. It also is going to be the last new moon this year that you're going to be able to actually manifest with because the one in December in Sagittarius is going to be an eclipse and you do not want to manifest with energies associated with eclipses. I will do a video on this later on, probably around that time to explain that further. But yes, yeah, so this is going to be the last new moon that you're going to be able to manifest with, but it is a powerful, powerful new moon to be doing so. So, um, Scorpio, they also um, can be very secretive. So a lot of secrets are going to be revealed. People's true colors are going to come out. A lot of people are going to be exposed. A lot of scandals are going to be exposed during Scorpio season in general. But also, this new moon, you could find out some hidden truths. Um, also, um, it's going to be a time where things that have been kind of shoved deep, deep down that we haven't wanted to deal with, those things are going to come up to the surface. For some of you, it's going to be a lot of things. For others of you, maybe just one or two. And But either way, it's going to be a really intense moon. Scorpio is a water sign, um, so they rule emotions. Water signs rule emotions, so Scorpios are very deep. So a lot of these things that are resurfacing, possibly from childhood, this can be like some really <laughs> bogged down old stuff. It's going to be coming back up, so just pre be prepared to deal with it. But... When you deal with these things, that is going to be incredibly transformative and move you along on your journey and probably bring in some abundance and amazing things once you move past whatever difficult energies may be coming up because I'm not going to lie, it's not going to be like sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows that are resurfacing. I mean, let's be real, that's why they got shoved down in the first place, <laughs> right? So, but embrace the change. We're, we got to work with the energies that we are given right now, right? So, that's what you got to do, baby. So, um, Scorpios also are associated with, every zodiac sign is associated with at least one body part. For Scorpios, it is the sex organs, the genitals. They are, Scorpios are associated with sex. They're... Them and Pisces are the number one signs that are associated with sex. Pisces is the more spiritual side of sex, healing people through sex, tantric sex, things like that. Scorpio rules the actual act of sex. So, um, hey, take that as you may. <laughs> um, so, also Scorpios rule, uh, so transformation, so it's funny because Scorpios are actually a fixed sign, which means they're the least, they don't really adapt to change as well as other signs, mutable signs like Pisces, Sagittarius, Gemini, and Virgo, they're very adaptable, they're highly accustomed and built for change. Scorpios are routine, they like have things a certain way, they like control, 
and that is so if you know Scorpios and you're like what like I'm cool with change I'm not saying it's a generalization Scorpios as a whole being a fixed sign are not going to like change as much which is why it's very interesting that they roll transformation because you have to change to transform right um, this new moon is going to be a very powerful time if you want to reinvent yourself I highly recommend doing so I love to reinvent myself always keep people guessing it's great Scorpios are very mysterious and they're very intense their emotions are very intense also do not lie to a Scorpio so like I was saying how secrets are going to be exposed there might be Scorpios out here exposing people who knows but um, they are like human lie detectors they may ask you questions they already know the answer to these questions if you have a Scorpio in your life and the, like you guys are having like a serious conversation they already know the answer promise you so don't try to lie to a Scorpio they might not even say anything but I promise you they always know they are very very psychic very intuitive as are the other water signs in different ways so just something to be aware of um, some gemstones that are going to be very useful and powerful to help you manifest this new moon are going to be Unakite and Carnelian. Carnelian is great for building confidence, attractiveness to the opposite sex, and appeal in general, sex appeal. It's an orange stone. And Unakite is just really going to be really good for manifesting. It is in a, a very powerful stone for manifesting. It also is really good if you're pregnant. It can help just aid what you go through while pregnant. So for my pregnant mamas out there, I'm actually pregnant too. Um, it is going to be very useful for that. But it's, um, it's like primary use is manifestation. So I definitely highly recommend that. So, um, since we're in this water energy, I, the manifestation tool that I want to share with you guys, this ritual that I want to share with you guys is going to be to, so I want you to, on the new moon and the new moon energies, you guys, they last from like three day, like in the full moon as well. It's like a three day thing. So you can still work with this energy if you're like busy and your schedule's crazy and you can't do it on the day of the new moon. You could do it the day before, you could even do it the day after. I wouldn't go too farther, too much farther out than that because it um, will be moving into different moon phases. I did a video on manifesting with the moon phases. I'll link it below so you guys can check that out if you have any, like want to learn more about that. But yeah, you want to stay within like a day or two. But anyway, on the new moon, I want you to take, you could either do a shower or a bath, either one. And while you're in the shower, I want you to think about something in your life that you want to manifest. This is going to be especially powerful if you are making like manifesting a very big change in your life. Um, but it's fine for whatever you're, whatever you want to manifest you guys. So while you're in the shower, I want you to think about this manifestation. I want you to get into like a meditative vibe even. Um, and because we're in Scorpio season and it's a water sign, it's going to be easier for you to dive into this vibe. So um, while you're in the shower, you're thinking about what you want to manifest. I want you to visualize. Visualization is extremely powerful, period. So visualize this Thing or this event coming into your life visualize it very vividly every detail how does and I want you to use all five of your senses so imagine how it's going to smell like if you're like you want to get married imagine like the smell of your bouquet like whatever you guys like that's the first thing that came to mind um, but yeah use all five senses how how is it going to look of course because we're visualizing how is it going to feel how is it going like taste maybe like you know however you can use your senses that is going to magnify and amplify the power of this ritual that you're doing so visualize what you're and then I want you to speak into existence speaking things into existence is incredibly powerful I know this uh, ritual seems kind of basic 
but like most things on my channel, I usually say the, and I have some extensive rituals on my channel, but the more simple, the better. The quicker you get to the meat and potatoes, the better. It's really just like, as long as you have that vibe and you are imagining exactly how you're going to feel and you're feeling that emotion, because Scorpio rules like water and emotions, you are going, to, this is going to come true. Like I, it is. Um, so manifest, visualize, and then speak it into existence as you are visualizing it. Like close your eyes, you know, that definitely helps. I definitely recommend doing that. Um, and like I said, you could do this in a bath too. Um, just like, you know, make sure you don't fall asleep if you're in a, like, if you're really like in a dead meditative vibe, but yeah, um, and that's what I want you to do. Super simple, but super effective and powerful. You're going to be using that water energy and water has memory. Water is just, it's so powerful. Working with any of the elements, fire, water, earth, whatever, they are all super powerful. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, 11-11 on the clock, make a wish. <laughs> If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you on my hippie fam. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.